Do we have any children here today? I see a couple. You guys want to come up? Come on, partner. Samantha's gone, so you guys get me today. Yeah. <laughs> morning, morning. Hi. Hi. All right. So, the first thing that I want to ask you guys, and it took me a long time to find this, because believe it or not, paper mats aren't so common anymore. So, does anybody know what this is? A mat. Does anybody know what we might use a mat for? For churches. Where church is, you can find where church is. What's another reason we might need to use a mat? Blake, do you know? To get somewhere. To get somewhere. So, so we use a map whenever we don't necessarily know where we're going, right? So you wouldn't need a map if you were going to go to Applebee's, would you? But maybe if you were going somewhere far away, maybe that you've never been here before, right? All right. So now, what do we use? What do we use now instead of paper maps? What's something we use? On your phone, right? There's different apps. You can ask Siri. What's the other one? Uh, uh, oh, Alexa, right? Alexa. Alexa can sometimes. So now we had to use these before we use our phones, right? Now, I also want to ask you guys, my hand Danny back. Does anybody know what this is? That looks like one of the places where you need to go. Where you need to go. South, east, west, west. Oh, yeah. So those are different cardinal directions. So this is the compass, all right? Yes, these are very useful, like if you're going hiking or maybe you get lost. And what's really neat, if you guys notice, it always points north, okay? So no matter where you're at, you can look at a compass and see where you go to go north. Now, does anybody know what we use these for more often? For when you're lost. For when you're lost sometimes. Now, can we use a compass or a road map to help us get out of difficult situations? What do you think? Uh, Maybe if we get lost, right? Now, can we use a compass and a road map to do the right thing? Are they going to tell us to do the right thing? They are? Okay, well, what if, what if is a road map going to tell you whether or not you should go and help somebody? So who do we follow to do that? Who tells us? whether or not we're doing the right thing. God. Oh, that's great. Good job, Blake. So God and Jesus, that's who we follow by example. What are some different things that God and Jesus tell us to do? Maybe. Let us go places. Do what? Let us go places. Let us go places. Maybe Jesus helps us stand up for those that need, um, that are getting bullied. Or maybe it tells us that we need to help those that are maybe less fortunate, right? Maybe you see somebody that's cold, you can give them your jacket, all right? So in short, the main thing to remember is that Jesus is our compass, all right? And he will help us find the way and do the right things, all right? So today, I'm going to give each of you your own compass. There you go. They are cool, aren't you? I need you like that for me. You want a compass? No? <laughs> All right. So the main thing to remember, guys, whenever you're getting lost or you need direction, all right, you can follow God and He will help you know what to do. All right? All right. So let's all pray. Close our eyes. Dear God, thank you for these wonderful children and just continue to let them shine their light in the world and just follow your example and be the best they can be each and every day. And continue to forgive us for our sins and hear me pray. Amen. All right, guys. Did you want to, Blake? Yep. All right. No, no. Lily here today. Uh, I don't think I expected to go back to your parents. <laughs>